For this installation, you will need a 5 gallon pail of Rydon CHS formula and an HP 300 pump. Included with the pump is a dosage table and installation guide, two valve core removers, and two pump chuck attachments. Slip the pump into the pail through the opening at the top. Remove the valve cap on the side of the pail and attach the pump chuck to the valve stem. Adjust the hose at the top of the handle so that it is perpendicular to the handle. To break the vacuum, unscrew the black fitting at the base of the handle to loosen the pump and draw the handle upwards, then retighten the black fitting. Turn the ball valve attached to the base of the pump chuck 90 degrees to open. Push down on the handle to recirculate the product and bleed the hose. And now you are ready to install. Locate the valve stem to make sure it is in the proper position for installation. If the valve stem is located between 10 and 2 o'clock, the area highlighted in red, adjust the tire accordingly to reposition the valve stem in a proper location for installation. Make a note of the three numbers on the side of the tire that denote the tire's size. To find the correct dose, open the dosage calculator and installation guide or reference Rydon's website. Use the last number in the tire sequence, in this case 22.5, to locate all the 22.5 inch tires. Use the remaining two numbers to find the exact tire match in the corresponding dosage. As you raise the pump, there are numbers etched into the pump shaft. These numbers indicate how many ounces of product are injected into the tire when the pump is compressed to that corresponding point. A complete pump stroke injects 10 ounces. Just below the pump handle, a silver locking collar can be loosened and attached to any ounce measurements needed. Open the ball valve on the pump chuck and then place the pump chuck into the installation tire. Draw the pump upwards and begin the installation process. Pump until the proper dosage has been installed in the tire. Remove the pump chuck. Attach it back in place on the valve stem on the side of the pail and close the ball valve. Using the recommended non-water-based mounting loop, mount the ride-on filled tire to the rim. If done correctly, no ride-on will spill out of the tire during mount-up. Then transfer the tire to the airing station. Attach the valve core into place. If necessary or desired, it is fine to use a cheetah to create the seal between the rim and tire. Inflate to the desired inflation pressure. Place an O-ring around the valve stem to denote that it is a ride-on treated tire and reattach the valve cap. The tire is now ready for service.